morning. I have actually been up a little bit before six, as you can guess, because I'm recording myself. Obviously, this wasn't a raw, natural um, <laughs> wake up, but you know how it be. I thought I was gonna vlog today, just do a little day in the life, and here it is. I hope you enjoy. Also, I got a new phone, so the quality of these videos just got better. Let's get up. Not so bad. Let's um let's fix this up a little bit. Uh, what is that? I don't wanna know. I have to say, I'm not loving the vanilla syrup. I can't betray my girl pumpkin spice. I know it makes me a white girl. I really am, so that's that's just it's it's in my genes to like pumpkin spice, to be obsessed with pumpkin spice, you know what I mean? I can't help it. Vanilla is fine.
I was just seeing it as more of a chore, not really enjoying it, or felt like I wasn't benefiting, benefiting from meditation. And I might have been and not realised it, but at the time I just, it felt like a chore, I didn't want to do it, so why was I forcing myself to do it if I really didn't truly want to? So I stopped, and I didn't do it for, uh, I don't know, a month or so, maybe two months, I'm not really sure, I can't remember. But I realised that I want to meditate. Our brains, our lives are so busy, constantly, different thoughts, different things coming into our heads, you know, social media, putting loads of different thoughts going through, then just thinking about work, thinking about life, thinking, oh, what am I going to have for dinner? All these thoughts, it's so busy in our brain and meditating gives me a chance to just stop and breathe and that is the whole point of meditation but I kind of realized that just giving my brain a little break before the day begins to just breathe you know live living in the moment for a second just take a deep breath right now yes you do it I promise just take it Doesn't that just feel like taking a load off? Feels great. This is the look. Um, it's not that exciting. It's just this. Leg kick. Whoa, can I do... Oh my god! <laughs> can I do it like, how do you do, how do they, how do, how do gymnasts do it? Do they like, no, not like that. Grab it, and then they like, flip it, like that. How do they pull it over their heads? Like, <laughs> no, okay. Anyways, breakfast.
I, I don't know how it happened. I, I, I touched it. And this was the practice run. Like every trophy we were making, we always have the practice break. Okay, now we're going to do the practice run. Let's try this again. I thought this would go a lot smoother considering it's smooth peanut butter. <laughs> it's a bit on the hot pancake. banana in about a year i need to sneeze oh no it keeps coming and going it's gone i don't care and um the last two times i've eaten a banana it's made me l either actually be sick or feel really sick in my stomach just really hurt my tummy and I was like, oh, am I allergic to bananas? Like, it was happening. So I just avoided them for a while because, you know, I didn't want to be eat a banana and become sick. I was like, oh, it's been a while. I was sure it was something else. I'll eat banana. My th tongue and my lips feel really, um, like, numb or weird, sen it itchy. I don't know. We'll find out whether I'm allergic to bananas or not. But... Should I keep eating them? Yeah, it's fine. I've called up my GP and I'm waiting to be put through the triage. I'm okay, like I don't think it's anything serious like uh, anaphylaxis, but I think I'm having a slight allergic reaction to bananas which is not how I wanted to start my day or how I wanted this vlog to go but I'm not giving up on the vlog and I'm sure I'll be fine hopefully I start to feel better in a little bit but I thought I'd keep you updated hey everyone so I have gotten myself ready, prepared myself, recovered, and I'm not sure really what I said in the previous videos, if I really explained what just happened, because I was a little bit like, I was a little bit panicked, a little bit confused, and I was just feeling rubbish. But basically, I haven't eaten bananas in a couple years because the last time I ate bananas, they made me sick. 
but I didn't think I was allergic to them. I just thought maybe I was having a bad day. But I don't know. I didn't. I just I ate bananas. I was like, oh, I haven't had bananas in ages. Fuck it. I have banana. Had a banana. Had a banana reaction. So turns out I'm slightly allergic to bananas. I spoke to the doctor. The doctor said yeah sounds like an allergic reaction if it gets worse well first they were like yeah call 999 and i was like but i'm actually i'm getting a bit better because by the time i spoke to the doctors it'd been like two hours since i ate the banana and i was i'd thrown up at that point sorry tmi i'm sorry to say it but i did and i was sniffling crying coughing sneezing everything but I'm feeling better. I still feel a little bit like I'm not 100%, but my throat no longer hurts. I can swallow properly and my tummy doesn't hurt. So I'm never gonna eat bananas again, but that's a shame because I like bananas. They're great. I did not throw the leftover bananas or the do my dishes because I was having a reaction that's justified. So I gotta go do that now. And then I gotta go to my maths seminar. So, oops. So I'm gonna go wash up and then I'll grab you and we'll go. I survived and then as you saw went to the local I I don't know I'm assuming it's local produce just like brought into our campus it's just a vegetable fruit and vegetable market where I went to got some apples got some lemon making some lemon water of course so I just made some lunch for myself it's just a little sesame bagel with some lettuce and vegan bacon i can't remember the name of the brand and then also a iced coffee latte cappuccino all of the above mm. i used the last of my pumpkin spice syrup <laughs> so good i literally i don't even like the vanilla but what i do like is this mm. I forgot to say I put some, I was about to eat that and I gotta speak first. <laughs> I also put some vegan sriracha mayo on it. All sriracha mayo, like the ones, the brand um, is vegan. Just letting you guys know, and it's so good. Hey everyone, so I'm not going to lie. I had a nap, I had a long old nap. And it's now <laughs> seven. I'm going to meet my friends for some boba. I'm gonna get a little bit of boba and then do some work. So yeah, let's go.
Served. Okay, so you can't. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Right. So we have a cauliflower and potato curry. That's about it. With a tortilla that I heated up in the toaster, but it's gone cold again. But that's my dinner. This is my apron. Time to eat. Mm. Mm. So good. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.